The first client on Casas Manuel's books today is newly retired 62-year-old Sue from Devon. Hello, Hi. Manuel. Hey, yeah. Hello, I'm Sue. Sue is looking for a Spanish sanctuary and sun is top of her wish list. Unfortunately, in the UK, it's too much rain and wind and coats and things, but here it's just a lot more relaxed. I enjoy the lifestyle in Spain. I enjoy the outdoor life. Oh, a little less. Sue is looking for a new build property and her budget is flexible in the region of 150 to 200,000 euros. But she has a very extensive list of demands. The house that I'm looking for needs to be something like a townhouse. There has to be um, outside space. I don't want to be out in the country. I don't want anything old. I don't want anything that needs refurbishing. I don't really want to be um, in a big sprawling resort, let's say Benidorm. That's probably about it, yeah. And this lady will not settle. I'm prepared to make compromises because it's never the absolute ideal, but I'm not prepared to make too many. It sounds like Casas Manuel might have a job on their hands to get her what she wants. I'm looking forward to seeing some lovely properties that you're yeah. going to show us. If that wasn't enough, Sue relays to Manuel's daughter Charlotte her strong ideas about her favoured aesthetic. I also like Spanish properties. I just don't like anything dark or old or anything that needs work. OK. So as long as it's not dingy, I mean, I think the Spanish properties are really attractive. But it's Manuel who is taking charge of Sue's house hunt. It's a very nice area where you choose, Sue. Very nice, yeah. So eventually you're planning to cook for good or just yes, for a holiday? Yes, Yeah. Unfortunately, <coughs> I'm not rich enough to uh, have a house Sorry. there and a house here. Manuel will be showing Sue around some show homes to give her a taste of what she could buy. What do you think, Daria? Yeah, quite nice. OK. The first property on the list definitely couldn't be described as dark or dingy, which should please modernist Sue. It's a new build apartment with a minimalist open plan lounge and fully fitted modern kitchen with a breakfast bar divide for informal dining. With two airy double bedrooms and two bathrooms, boasting mosaic tiling and high spec fittings. This property also has a small, easy to maintain garden area and access to a communal pool. Close to local amenities and set in a traditional seaside town in southern Costa Blanca, it's on the market for 135,900 euros. Well within Sue's budget. Very nice. Eh? Very nice. Okay, we're going to see what they have to offer. Okay. okay. Lead yeah. the way. So it's off to a good start and time to meet the developer at the show home. Thank you. Let's hope it meets Sue's high standards. Nice and nice. cool, actually. Nice and cool. Good for one person. You've got the open plan kitchen. Most of the things you see is included. The white goods that you see. You go through to the fifth bedroom. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. And is this the biggest bedroom? Or yeah, this is master with the bathroom and suite. OK, with a suite. Oh, that's okay. very nice. Next, the outside space. You can use this area for barbecue or whatever. This is another apartment yeah. up here. Yeah. For me, I, it feels a little enclosed. I feel like I have a car park there and a wall there. I feel very enclosed. The apartment itself is very, very nice, but um, it's too enclosed for me, unfortunately. Okay. But with Sue's exacting list of demands, it's not going to be easy to match this client with an ideal home. Let's hope the second property lives up to it. Property two is a two-bathroom, three-bedroom, two-storey duplex. Downstairs, there's a high-tech, fully-fitted kitchen and a spacious living dining area decorated with a calming minimalist scheme. The property has two bathrooms, boasting state-of-the-art heated floors, as well as luxury fittings. And with a wraparound patio and sun terrace, 
this property should have the space that Sue is looking for. The only problem is it's a bit over budget at 210,000 euros. But Manuel's tactic is to give her an idea of what a spacious new build at this price is like. Okay, I'm okay. interested to have a look at this one. Please, go on in. Oh, this is, this is nice. Yeah. Even though it's not a square room, which I usually prefer, it's still quite spacious. It looks like Manuel has hit the mark with this property. It's got a lovely airy feel about it. No claustrophobia in here, Manuel. No. Lovely finish everywhere. Beautiful finish. Yeah. It seems this property has given Sue a taste of what she wants. But there's a catch. My only worry is that it is over budget. But Manuel has a plan. OK, so this will go over your budget. Yes. But you can get something like that and a smaller. Same well, kind of layout, but yeah. a slightly smaller. smaller. We'll have a look at something smaller. I'm not sure that I will be totally happy with it, but I think we should go and have a look. So he's taking her to a property by the same developer round the corner. But what he hasn't told her is that it's a little way off from being finished. So, Manuel, what have you brought me to? This is a stack of bricks. <laughs> <laughs> property three is a small-scale version of property two, with three bedrooms, two outside terraces and private entrance. But it's closer to budget, coming in at 174,900 euros. So this is one house. One house, where well, you got a neighbor in the top. Oh, OK. OK. That's what the steps are for. Yeah. Sue wasn't keen on sharing a plot at property one. So is it a lost cause? My only reservation here is that I have somebody living up there and that I'm not, I don't think I'd like that. I think I would like my plot to be mine. I don't want to have to share with anybody. Manuel is running out of options. Sue is a beautiful lady, but she expect too much for what she wants to pay. After a frustrating couple of days showing Sue around three properties, Manuel's pretty stumped. It looks like Sue will be returning to the UK empty-handed. But in the car, Sue drops a bombshell that could change everything. I had to set a budget, oh, yeah, yeah, and to, yeah. that's the budget that I set, yeah. thinking that I can go either side of it. You know, it's not... Uh, it's not absolutely set. It's just there as a guideline. I can go less and I can go a bit more. This is an incredible revelation for Manuel. Knowing she can up the budget, he thinks he has the perfect property that could meet all of Sue's criteria and there's just enough time to squeeze in a viewing. A luxury three-bedroom detached villa located in Roda, a traditional Spanish town full of character. It has a large lounge with minimalist clean lines and an open kitchen, chock full of modern appliances. The spacious master bedroom has built-in storage and sliding doors leading out onto the terrace. The second and third bedrooms are well proportioned, again with sliding doors leading onto the terrace, letting in lots of light. There are two sumptuous bathrooms with luxury fittings. The property is surrounded by its own private, low-maintenance gardens, with plenty of space for alfresco dining, a private pool with outdoor shower, and stylish screening to provide privacy. There's also a spacious private roof terrace, perfect for sunbathing, and providing Sue with the blissful solitude she craves. But she'd have to stretch her original 200,000 euro budget by an extra 35,000 euros. I think the neighborhood's quite peaceful. Love the sound of the birds. As this is a show home, Manuel's got special permission from the developer to show Sue round. So here, what we call is the sour room. That's very tasteful. So, here, 
area, what we got is the master bedroom. Okay. Here you have yeah. that's the main bedroom with your shower room. Then you have a walk-in shower as well, similar to the other bathroom. Same qualities, everything included. And this is just a, a well, for me, a spare room. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's lovely. Upstairs, there's a fabulous sun terrace. In a solarium like this, you need a, you need a parasol. But I would only come up here in the mornings and the evenings. I wouldn't... Yeah, um, yeah but it would be nice when you see the sun. Lovely. The sun go down, the sun set is going down. Yeah. It'll be beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Finally, Manuel's hard work seems to be paying off. I really like this. This is similar mm -hmm. to what I have at home in that it's very open. I have the terraces all around. And that was what I wanted to achieve. Yeah, I really like the house. Life's an adventure, and if, if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. Sue likes it so much, in fact. She doesn't just want to buy a house on this development. She wants to buy this very house, the show home. I really like the show house. I would like this one. Then you mean you want to buy the show house? But there's a snag. If Sue wants this particular one, she'll have to wait until all the other properties on the development have been sold. With it being a show house and with it not being on the market right now, exactly. do you have but like a, a list? Could I be at the top of the list yes. for this one? It could take 10 months for all the other properties on the development to be sold, but it will eventually mean a sale for Manuel and a home in the sun for Sue. Well, I think it uh, went very, very well. So I think uh, this house can be the house for her. This dream, I think, has come true. My living space is an extension of me and I just, I have to be as comfortable with my home as I am with myself and that's how I feel here.